of wisdom to do things in order that would be pleasing to you and just be over everybody's health. Lead and guide us and give us strength. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you see the uh, uh, minutes of the February 28th meeting, do a motion to approve. So motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Uh, is there any uh, questions, corrections, or additions? Discussions, questions, or additions? Corrections? Anything uh, like that? Real quick, I'm, so on that one thing, Ann, that we talked about. You can go ahead and order without me saying I'm approving you. Okay. Yeah. Never mind, then. That's fine. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Holds like time. Minutes are approved. Before you, you see the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including a late list. The motion for approval. So move. Let me look over. I haven't seen this yet. Okay. Motion by Larry Moore for you. Second. Second by. Second. Second discussion. Kent Galloway seconded it. Okay. Okay. Any discussion? Any discussion on the bills? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh, uh, Opposed, like sign. The bills are paid. Uh, we have the Feb Treasurer's February financial statement. We just need to recognize that we got it. So, I'll make the motion that we, or we acknowledge we've received it. Motion by Jason received. Bullock. Second. Second by Larry Moore. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passed. Uh, if you'll remember on the last meeting, we had the first reading of the cell changes to the admin code. That's ordinance 2020. Uh, three dash six. Uh, like I said, we've already done the first reading. We need a motion to do the second reading. I'll make a motion to the second reading of the 2023 six. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion? Roll call. Callaway. Yes. Sorry. Morphew. Yes. McKinney. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Bennett? Yes, sir. Uh, Jackson. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry. No, I said Jackson. This uh, is not the district health department. No, they're getting uh, we're, Because of us having crunch time tonight, the district health department is coming to the next meeting. We have uh, personnel issues. Judge? Yes. I'm still on that. Uh, we have some personnel issues. I put, put up the name, and uh, this is a uh, part time courthouse custodian. Uh, and at 12, uh, 1271 an hour, starting 912. I'm sorry. No, six months review starting uh, now. So, roll call. What's the name? Who's the person, yeah? Sandra Goff. Effective date is the 12th. Yeah, effective date is the 12th. Callaway? Yes. Morview? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. How many hours a week is that, Judge? 22 is, full, is part time. But if it's emergency, you do more, isn't it? We sometimes do, then make it average out. Okay. Thank you. Good part -time. <clears throat> well, part time course, she's already over for part time golf course. Okay, but she's part time, she's part time. And then uh, we have uh, Marianne Tyranny. 
attendance golf course. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Department of Golf, Mary Ann Tyranny. They'll be seasonal. That's not part time, it's seasonal. There's a difference. That's what I was thinking. About. They work more hours, but they only work for a short time. Uh, can work up to nine months, but they never do. This will be six months or less. So, roll call. I just want to make sure I understand. Callaway? Yes. Morpheus? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Yes. Johnson? Yes. Then also, at the seasonal at the golf course, an attendant, Steve Seegers, uh, and uh, that's effective uh, at the 12th as well. So, roll call. Callaway? Yes. Morgan? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Then we have a, uh, there'll be another one at the next meeting too, but we have a substitute meal driver at the senior building, Jeremy Dixon, and that will be starting uh, tomorrow. So, uh, Callaway? Yes. Morpheus? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. And that's at 11.53 an hour, I forgot to say that. It's the cheapest people we have now, I think. Most places we got. Okay. Uh, who's got the items for the sheriff's surplus? Olivia said that she sent you the information. Okay, I thought they were going to present it as well. I thought she just wanted on the agenda. Oh, I just called them, and if you want to go on to something else, that they might be running over here. Okay. Something else we're Is it just a list of things? Can we just, I mean, can we approve the uh, same? Can you email the surplus list to us? Could we do that? Was it's it very not, much? It she said she sent it with the attachments. So She's I going to try to pull it up on the phone. Oh, yeah. I know it's a forklift, but I don't know if it's something else. Yeah, from the from the uh, military. military surplus, the forklift has been there several years. It's not operational anymore. It won't sell it. We're going to have to get it. Sorry about that. I'll tell you what we do while she's gone. We can, uh, Larry, go ahead and tell us what we wanted to do about the shoe drive and the, uh, um, all of it. If, you, if, if each of you want to, yeah, we want to, and uh, what Kennedy, it is, Kennedy it's told a, him it would. The uh, Magistrates Church and the Commissioner's Association every year have a shoe drive, and they pick one county that gets all of them, and we're going to be considered, they already had this year's, but we're, our county will be considered the next two to three years to possibly get them. How many shoes did they, like, set? was it 700? Do I, how many pairs of shoes did they say they got last year? Oh Lord, it was a bunch, plus they got about $4,000 for Lauren and them to go out and buy more. Yeah, uh, uh, there's, there's several hundred, hundred, I remember, yeah. Yeah, Larry made most, who's going to say? I'll second it. Second, second, it. second by, uh, by Jason Bullock. And that, I'm pretty sure it's 401, but if it ain't, I'll bring it back because we can't get it if it's not, can we? Well, uh, Master Commissioners, we know they're okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we well, so, have the check so we can take it in the judge. Okay. okay, that'll be, so make up that motion says $600. $600. That'll be uh, 100 out of each of our discretionary. Well, can I ask you a question because I don't want to budge. I have seen their discretionary, right? Do you guys? They have discretionary money left in there? That much. Yeah. Okay, that's what you say. If they didn't, because I know, just take Kim, the difference out of mine. Okay, motion, what happened? Uh, Larry Morphew made a motion, second by Jason Bullock, that from our discretionary funds, we're given uh, $100 each, which is a total of $600, to the uh, magistrates and commissioners uh, conference for shoot -out. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion to That was a good idea, Larry. Okay, here's the list of, uh, it's just one thing, isn't it? Okay. It's just one item. The big old uh, forklift loader, it's sitting up there in the, at the impound at the park, if y'all have seen it. 
uh, he wants to declare surplus so he can sell it on gov deals. Make a motion. Are you bidding on it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just to save us down the road, if, uh, that that the proceeds will go into the capital outlay for the sheriff. Okay. All right. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. For to serve us the uh, military forklift and proceeds will go into the capital outlay for sheriff's department. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like that. Now we're down to committee reports, and I think the item that you have, uh, Jason, will be considered that. So if you want to go ahead and address I have a couple things to talk about, but um, this one, this first one is from the golf course committee, and uh, it's a, I'd like to allow Ann, uh, the treasurer, to approve the county treasurer to open up a bank account to use exclusively for debit and credit card transactions made by the Ohio County Park and the Ohio County Golf Course. Uh, and to open the account using $100 from, here's the account number 01-5401-59-00. And that just allows Hunter Dental to use uh, debit or credit cards out there and covers the actual, the, the I guess the 3% fees and all that goes in there too. But the county won't be responsible for the fees? No, mm -hmm. okay. no. I, I think what they're doing is they're kind of building the fee into the price is what they're going to be doing. Well, they can, but it's kind of automatic. Anywhere you go, you yeah. pay the price. You yeah, I, mean, I think they're, not that they're going to completely go away from cash, because sometimes cash, you know, can go away too. Uh, they're trying to go away from cash and to use debt or credit as much as they can. Well, be yeah, fair. I talked to Steve. He's just using Square. So yeah. what Square do is they'll send you your part, mm -hmm. and they keep the They keep their 3%. Yeah. So you just have to make sure that you and then now there's, that in. There's the 6% sales tax that's been added. Used golf course didn't have to pay that, but they do this year. Yeah. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like so. You get a second. No, I did not. I'm sorry. I got a, I got a motion. Two seconds. I'll second. 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 I'll talking to Rich Ornstein and them at uh, this conference, just to kind of wait two more weeks and see if there's a liability <laughs> on the county or something for that. Well, I mean, so the ordinance kind of follows the statute. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what the state said, here's what we permit. Yes. Uh, the, uh, the ordinance kind of follows what the state allows. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly it's up to the court to determine which streets uh, or, or roadways that are county maintained can be used yeah. for that purpose. Whether you have liability, I think it's I think there's an inherent risk in the use of that on a roadway, just as well as a motorcycle and, or anything that you do operate on a roadway. Mm -hmm. uh, unless we have some type of um, uh, failure to maintain, which could be the same as as uh, again somebody driving a motorcycle, somebody driving a, an automobile, we set certain obligations to make sure our roads are, are as, uh, as 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 well maintained as we can. Past that, I'm not for sure on, on what our liability would be because there is a requirement of insurance coverage of those operators. Okay. So I don't, I don't think necessarily the county, unless we um, uh, certainly see a risk that that we just um, uh, just ignore. You know, if you have a roadway that's probably not appropriate and it's passed, uh, maybe that, that we're we're liable for that if we are aware of something in a car was to hit. I mean. It, I mean, I, I would assume that, that the Keiko is going to tell you that we're very similar to our same liability issues in automobiles in operation and motorcycles in operation. I just want to kind of hold off on that one for two weeks just to kind of talk to some people up there just, just to cover ourselves. I was made aware of that and well, it, it, it was a good question. And 
It is good. It is something to ask Keiko to make sure there's not any any additions to the insurance policy that we may need to add, okay. if any at all. Okay. I'm not saying we would, but it'd be good to ask the insurance company their position. I talked to a magistrate from uh, one of the eastern counties two conferences ago, and they got problems because the uh, their sheriff's department is not uh, don't have enough manpower to. Uh, patrol it and take care of it and they I think it might have been Martin County, I'm not sure. That's why I thought I'd get up there. So we're gonna be up there this, this next couple of days and thought I'd ask and just kind of get some ideas before. But I mean we've waited this long there's no need but to there's come. already a state law that if you're on a farm you're allowed a half mile with yeah. that. Well and, 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 and part of this is already state ordinance too that they, they kinda of passed I think. So well I mean the county on the county roadways like even before you really pass the ordinance, you would want in each one of your districts uh, some indication on what roads the counties would permit this to occur on. Yeah, it, it could be restricted to one road. It could be yeah all the county highway, county roadways. But but I think either each of the magistrates, if there is an intention to pass this, to review what roads might be appropriate. Okay. So we're gonna I'm gonna we're not gonna act on that tonight. And then as far as the buffer zone. Uh, you got me some information on that. Did you get my two requests on that buffer buffer zone? From the change of once I saw There's two things I asked for maybe to change on. I sent from this from my email maybe yesterday or this morning? This morning, yeah. Okay. I have not seen that email. Okay. So if there's changes to be made, and my understanding was it was not uh, uh, going to be addressed today, so I can make that. Yeah, change. it's not. It's, okay. But there were two things. We wanted to wait on your paper and Paul saw it. I talked to Paul a little bit about it today. But uh, the, the two changes, one's at quarter mile, we're looking at 2,500, and then where it said uh, subdivision, new, uh, new developing subdivisions, not old subdivisions, anything new developed, and it doesn't have residential in there. Uh, it's implied that residential doesn't affect, I the same way I read it, but do you think that there needs to be in there that residential is not affected by this? We, we could, one that uh, based on the, the, the indications of the proposal mm -hmm. that would be presented, I wrote it in similar to what you guys wanted as far as a proposal possibly. Uh, it does not have any of the R1, 2, or 3, I think, City of Beaver Dam mm -hmm. and, and Hartford Hughes. Uh, we could put an extra sentence in there so as to, to for further fair clarification that it's not a part of it. I think uh, if I remember in the resolution, it, it was the three business classifications and yeah. industrial has two and then the um, and then the ag agriculture. agriculture for the use and that's of just for livestock for built like for commercial business commercial business yeah. like feedlot feedlots hog farms chicken, farm, chicken i mean that's up to you guys on whatever modifications you want yeah. I'll, I'll modify okay. it however you want to i didn't you know the r1s and all that people that probably read that didn't realize that you know i just didn't know for clarification but i read it and it, it's just implied because it doesn't mention residents that then it doesn't affect residents because it doesn't matter. You know what? That's kind of how I look at it. You know what you've done, Jason? What have I done? I was so proud of Justin. <laughs> he brought us a resolution on one page on that, mm -hmm. and it's enough. usually four or five, and and ain't no way it's going. It's not going to be one page anymore. <laughs> it's just a couple little words. Little yeah. words. We we can we can add that if need be. I just think that some people read it and they don't under they would. I understand it's implied because it's not mentioned in there, but you know, that's the only thing I'm thinking yeah. of. I mean, certainly still subject to, subject to the court to pass. I mean, yeah, that's what right. the court wants to do. But. Okay, and that's all I have on my Okay, let's go ahead and do the, uh, we're kind of uh, steamrolling here. We've got a, another meeting after this one, and we're all several of us leaving town tonight. Um, so, um, Master's comments, Michael? No comments at this time. Jason, you I think I made all mine. Bo? No comments. Okay, no comments. I just want to add to a little bit about the buffer zone. I cannot support it because all it is is more big government. But that's up to you guys too. Yeah, you know, well, we're going to have it together, and I'm getting it out to several people, and uh, we're going to address it next I agree time. you're looking at it, but if you lit, read it and listen to it, 90 percent of the people that called me everybody just called me once i got done were like hey i see what you're doing it's protecting a homeowner from 
having something put beside the house. Also taking rights from other homeowners. You're right, but my job is to look at the 90, 95% of the people instead of the 5% of the people. That's kind of what I feel like I'm voting Okay, well, we'll, we'll debate that next time. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't got all rolled up yet. All written up yet, I'm sorry. I'm going to get my grammar wrong here. Um, so, uh, does anyone else have anything to the body? Anyone else have anything for the good? Of the do, you have, do you guys, I'm sure, do you have any questions about the... Uh, yeah, ours was about the buffer zone, actually. Mm -hmm. They live out the way, obviously, I have probably. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, call this office. We'll get you a copy of it after he uh, makes amendments. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to address it at the next meeting, mm -hmm. but we'll get you a copy of it beforehand. Okay. I'll stop talking. Yeah, he'll make sure he gets it to it. I've got to take one to Mr. Hicks. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do that. March 28th at 5. March 28th at 5? Yeah. Okay. We're going to discuss it then. Has anybody else got anything else? If uh, the coroner's the office is here, but but uh, most of their business is a, is a dead issue. But you know, we're not looking for customers. Yeah. All right. Well, we, we're you going don't care to stay out of Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stay away from my house, too. Uh, we call this big adjourned and magistrates will see you across the hall. In fact, you just did a whole